what is PNP, Provincial Nominee Program? Uh, my name is Hossein Amir Ahmadi. I'm Regulated Immigration Consultant. Welcome to our YouTube channel. BCPNP, British Columbia Provincial Nominee Program. What does it mean? Let me go back 20 years ago and uh, check the history of immigration, what happened, what process were there. 20 years ago, most people who came here as a skilled worker, they know that um, there was no online service. You had to uh, print all your documents. Your, um, and if you had IELTS, you had to print it out, mail it out to immigration, wait three, four years, and after three, four years, you come in with your uh, PR. Now, all this changed in 2015. 2015, Immigration Canada came up with a system called Express Entry. This is what you see these days. The scores uh, are 1,200, uh, which 600 of them is for PNP. The other 600 is your own square. Um, you guys who remember the skilled worker in the old days, uh, we used to calculate 67 points uh, to be eligible, 67 points out of 100 points to be eligible as a skilled worker. That's still in the background. You don't see it, but it's still in the background. Uh, the system still um, calculates your points and based on that tells you that you're qualified or not qualified and then you will be in the system. And if you have enough score, then your name comes up um, to apply for the, you get the invitation to apply for PR. So uh, going back to PNP, why I'm discussing PNP and Express Entry together right now, because after some time, mostly I think after 2016, 2017, immigration realized that uh, they should uh, divide the responsibility of offering permanent residency to applicant on uh, each province. So each province, the uh, program exists from before, the uh, PNP programs, they used to exist from before as well. But now, they have more responsibilities. The score of job offer from 600 came to uh, 50 or 200 for uh, senior managers, but the score for PNP 600 points is still there. That's why they haven't changed it because they want people to go through PNP programs to get more scores and apply through them. So uh, PNP has got more responsibility choosing the right candidate for PR. Going back to uh, BC PNP, all these PNP programs, they have their own score system. So once you put in your um, information, it will give you a score. Most of them are um, 80, 90, and it's 80, 90 from 200 or 120 or 150. So they are all different uh, scores. But once you qualify for PNP, then you have a nomination that you can apply for PR. We'll go back to uh, uh, how you can get uh, nomination and how, who gets qualified for uh, PNP. So now, people who have IELTS 6 or above, they can create their profile in Express Entry first. So you create a Express Entry profile, you get the Express Entry profile number, now you come to the uh, um, BCPNP Express Entry, you put that nominee or the uh, profile number into the Express Entry. When you apply for BCPNP and it gets approved, you get the nomination that you can put into the Express Entry, now you can apply for um, a PR and it takes six to eight months to get approval. So this was one of the ways that you get uh, nomination. The other way is if you don't have enough scores to be eligible for express entry, now you apply directly to BCPNP, you get a nomination, but this nomination is not good for express entry, uh, which in old days we used to say a paper-based application, you used to print everything, mail it out to immigration, and then uh, it takes two years to get a response from them. Nowadays, few months ago, they changed that. Now you have a portal uh, that you can submit all your documents, the paper base that we used to do. Now you can submit it online. It takes one year, but still it's much better than the two years they used to be. So don't misunderstand this. You have two different nominations from PNP. One nomination is Express Entry, means that you already have an Express Entry profile. You are qualified for Express Entry, but you don't have enough points to get the, to get the invitation from uh, Express Entry. 
that's one that you go into the um, BCPNP or any of these PNP programs you get the nomination and then you have 600 points now to apply for express entry so that's one the second one is when you don't have IELTS 6 or above and you apply directly to PNP programs you still get the nomination but it doesn't give you the 600 points it goes to a completely different system for uh, getting the pathway um, the PR pathway and that's what we call or we used to call paper-based application right now there is a portal online so you still have a nomination you still get PR but it's not with the 600 points and don't forget every province has got their own system their own scoring as well they also have a list of demand positions that uh, they may accept without any job offer go through their website make sure you're reading the right website they sometimes it doesn't look like it's the government website but it is but again make sure if you don't uh, know which one is right contact us we'll help you to find the right website We'll give you a link for BCPNP and the high demand occupations. So uh, if you wanna check BCPNP, that's where we mostly work, but other provincials as well, give us a, or leave us a comment and we'll help you with that as well. One more thing, if you guys wanna know more about the differences between the BCPNP or other PNP programs or the PNP that gives you 600 points and um, just a nomination, uh, leave us a comment and we'll make more videos for you. Thank you guys for watching our video. If you like it, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification. So next time we make a video, you'll get notified.